Good morning from Stone Mountain Campground. Had breakfast this morning and walking the dogs before our next adventure. The plan today is to visit Grist Mill, which is right around the same circle where the covered bridge was. Instead of going down to the covered bridge lane and going to Indian Island here, we will be going on the circle. There's a small parking area right about here and then there's a path that starts somewhere in this area right here and it goes right into the Cherokee Trail it meets up at the Cherokee Trail right about here and you can take that straight into the mill there is a little bridge here you can cross and there's a there's a mill right here and the mill is being fed by this creek of course eventually it goes into the lake and this is where we are camped right up here and here we are at the beginning of the path from the parking lot going down to the mill The lake is to our right as we go down the path. At this point, this is where Cherokee Trail goes through Grist Mill, crossing the small bridge there. We will be running into Cherokee Trail quite a bit in this park since it goes all the way around the park and it is the longest trail. And here's the historic grist mill. There's no water falling from the aqueduct onto the wheel at this time. It must have something to do with the dry uh, weather they're having here. It was moved here in the 60s just like the covered bridge. Built in 1867 in Georgia's Fanning County. The abandoned mill was discovered near Elijah. It was carefully dismantled and moved to Stone Mountain. Then it was carefully reassembled, complete with millstones and stone mill race. Unfortunately, we could not see the inside of the mill. Both doors were locked. As we come towards the end of the uh, mill's deck here, Cherokee Trail continues to the left towards the creek. This is the uh, aqueduct that flows onto the top of the wheel, which is dry at this time. This area where the fall of the creek is makes a great place for a child's playground. The setting here is perfect for newlyweds taking pictures of their wedding day. This is interesting. I read that the 13 foot overshot wooden water wheel was painstakingly replicated by a devoted carpenter. The kids really enjoyed playing around the water mill. They had a fun day. With the wheel not being spun by the aqueduct water being off, um, we had a chance to get up close to it. That was really fun.
They had a ball walking up the creek under the walkway bridge. The train horn you hear on a distance is the Stone Mountain train that goes around the mountain itself. And uh, it's a beautiful ride. We're going to be going to that today. I don't know what this is doing in the middle of nowhere. I have no clue what this is for. Cool. It's definitely a chimney. And weird. Weird. Okay. Oh, this is dried up in here. I'm following the aqueduct that goes to the mill at least 300 feet up the creek and uh, it's dry. But the creek seems to have enough. Our next stop will be at the quarry exhibit. We will see you there.